Youth Runner here with the gentleman from uh, Niwot High School in Colorado. Back-to-back -back champions uh, at the Desert Twilight Festival uh, Boys Sweepstakes uh, here at Toka Sticks uh, in Mesa, Arizona. Uh, in addition to a championship in uh, 2021, that's three of the past four, but they become the first group ever in the history of this meet uh, to repeat as sweepstakes champions. Uh, that's a pretty in uh, incredible feat. Uh, let's hear from these gentlemen. Introduce yourself. Ryder Key. Ryder, uh, just in, in terms of, you know, like you guys did last week at, uh, you know, at Lions, obviously what, you know, what the girls did here last year and you did even one better one through six, right? Uh, how, uh, how did that just kind of remind the group that like training's you know, in, in, in a good spot? And, you know, because I mean, obviously to duplicate that tonight would have been otherworldly, but I mean, the fact that you guys were still uh, so brilliant, but just how, how affirming was that to do that last week as kind of like the dress rehearsal for tonight? Um, yeah, I thought it was nice. Um, you know, our, it's kind of like, um, it's nice to know that like, you know, that's just the base work we've got in so far. And it, um, we, we gotta trust the process. There's still a lot of work to do. So um, yeah, I'm glad it's panning out. Awesome. Uh, uh, Keegan Galdine. In, uh, in, in terms of, I mean, obviously this group always th uh, thrives at sea level, you know, whether it's Twilight, uh, certainly at, uh, at, at NXR. But I mean, obviously then we get a little bit of a wrinkle here, you know, where we're more accustomed to dry heat in Arizona and then we yeah. get like a little, little sticky, you know, like humid yeah. type of situation. Just how, how important was was it for you guys to be like, look, we can only control what we can control. Like, let's just stay locked in and, and stay focused and like not let not let any external factors you know, dictate anything to us. Yeah, I mean, we were looking at the forecast all week and we knew it was going to be like really hot. So we just went in like no expectations um, that like anything could happen. And so we just went in, run fast, celebrate what we've done, celebrate our hard work. And there's so much we can do left. And so, yeah. <clears throat> To that point, right? I mean, obviously, it was it was a great moment last year for, uh, for the you know, both the championship boys and you know uh, the sweepstakes boys to win. Obviously, I'm not you know uh, in any way, shape, form, or fashion overlooking the fact that there was another championship boys you know uh, great performance tonight, and then the sweepstakes uh, a win. But uh, but just uh, you know, how do you feel like the the group is in general? Because like when you say there's so much more, like yeah. we're only on September 27th, right? Like yeah, we, exactly. we still we still got time until. November 2nd for state, exactly. November 23rd for NXR. So how do you feel like the group is right now? Oh, I think we're great. I mean, we're better than last year by far. I mean, we're pushing each other way more in workouts and we still have so much left to push each other with. We still have so much um, potential to tap into and we're just ready for what's next. Awesome, congratulations. Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Gabe Marshall. Gabe, uh, obviously just uh, uh, the group, you know, even with more depth here today, you know, than obviously was uh, last week at Lions, you guys did such a great job you know, in, uh, in, you know, in the second half of the race of staying connected, you know, staying, you know, supportive and, and whatnot. Like, uh, you know, uh, how significant is that going to be, you know, when we get to, you know, November 2nd for state and November yeah, 23rd yeah. here? Like, th that you guys can continue to, you know, to trust in each other and, yeah. and can continue to find each other in big mm -hmm. fields. Yeah, so that's, like, that's super important. It helps so much to see your teammates and see, like, their jerseys and stuff and look around and just see those guys. It helps you push so much more. And it gives you people to stick on and, like, I'd say that we're more competitive with each other than from people from other teams. And it always helps to see somebody next to you who is from your team. Well, and I, lo and I love you touching upon that, right? Because, I mean, obviously, the, you know, uh, as you know, exceptional as all of you are, like, this group is interchangeable, right? You know, it's yeah. like I, I always say that, you know, that you guys probably have, you know, probably four, you know, four number ones and, you know, like yeah, three guys yeah. that I would probably even be disrespectful to say number two. Like, mm -hmm. how, like how reassuring is that? That, like, it, it, it's, you know, I mean... Obviously, I know Rocco wants to be the best version of himself, but mm -hmm. all of you guys, you know, wanna, you want to you want to be up there and pushing it. So, yeah. how good is it to kind of have that versatility, that interchangeability? Yeah, it's super, it's super like encouraging and stuff. To just just know that like even if like one person doesn't have a bad race, there's like six other dudes who can just step in for him. And yeah, it's just it's pretty cool to see all the depth we have and everything. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Shout out Dion. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I don't uh, I don't know uh, what what's a better show right now is the group in front of me or the uh, the group that's. Uh, uh, yeah. That's you know doing their version of the Rockets uh, behind us, but uh, uh, but Rocco yep. uh, was rocking out there. Uh, 1444. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, in a previous conversation that you and I shared, you know, uh, Charlie Voss uh, uh, and, and you and uh, and Oliver Horton, you know, like all three of you guys uh, under the previous fastest time ever of 1448 by Bernie Montoya. I know that you, what a team guy you are, but like, but just you know, to know that we're still only on September 27th and you know already seeing it. 
being elevated to that level and you know what it's going to be like back here on November 23rd, like how exciting a prospect is that for you, Rocco, and the group? Uh, it's really exciting and just knowing like we got a lot of time to keep working on it and getting better and by the time we're coming back for NXR and NXN, we're going to be super ready to come bring it. I always say that like not all championships are created equal or not all, you know, in your case, you know, second place finishes are created equal or whatever, like just, you know, and to the point that, you know, that the guys were making about, the, you know, even though the group won last year and won this year, like we know it's a better group. Uh, how, how encouraged are you about like just the level of, you know, like just like your know, commitment and, and drive and determination for this group this year, you know, after all you learned last year? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I think we're all like very high level committed and ready to go and excited to run hard. Awesome, congratulations, great Thank job. You. Uh, Quinn Sullivan. Quinn, uh, obviously, huge blessing at the fact that you guys dominated, you know, at Toka Sticks last year. But then it was kind of like, okay, now we need to. It's almost like, you know, switching an academic class, like you know, midway through a quarter or a semester, right? Because then it's like, well, we're not coming back to Toka Sticks for Southwest. We got to go to Coyote Run at Leisure World and you know, and show you know that we can compete against you know not only you know Harriman and American Fork, but you know the, uh, all the best teams in the Southwest here. Is it reassuring for you and the group that it's like tonight's at Toka Sticks and then you get to come back here l later in the year? Is that beneficial or are you guys the type that it's like it doesn't matter where they tell us to run, we're just going to run our best? Um, I feel like we're more the type of group to just like, uh, just wherever we go, we will run out our best ability and just go out there and try and win because as great Ricky Bobby says, if you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> and uh, I, mean, it, it, I mean, again, uh, the group is you know is, uh, is is so competitive uh but i mean the, uh, there's also a, a sense of like hey we'll you know celebrate this moment and appreciate it tonight but then we know we need to get back to work because colorado is just that good and the southwest is just that good like is that a good reminder for this team and it's like hey like this is an incredible achievement but september 27th doesn't define our season you know november 2nd and november 23rd and december 7th define our season is that good for the group yeah that's amazing for the group just seeing like we came out here we all had a good race i feel like it was hot but being out there and you see like tons of guys, other guys from like Coronado and all these other Colorado schools out there, still like being up there in the front and beating it, like beating us in some cases, what do you call it? it just proves that we still have a lot to work to do and we can still get better. And I feel like as long as we just like trust in the Lord, we'll be okay. Fantastic, great job, man. Uh, Cole Maserano. Cole, uh, since he used that word Coronado, right? Like there was some great interaction afterward because obviously once upon a time, that was 4A family in Colorado, but yeah. now obviously you've kind of, you know, gone up to 5A and given them the opportunity to, you know, to have their moment at Norris Penrose, I hope. Yeah. Um, but just, uh, but, uh, but the fact that, you know, there's just such a, you know, there's certainly a great level of competition, but such a healthy amount of respect from, you know, all the groups in, uh, in Colorado. And then even when you factor in like a Rio Rancho and, you know, and obviously a Mountain View from Utah and whatnot, like just, you know, how important is it uh, uh, that you guys, I know you guys don't fear anybody, but just like respecting everyone and the fact that like we want to elevate them the same way we hope they elevate us. Yeah, no, I think it's uh, it's great to come down to these races and all the other races in Colorado. All those guys are our friends uh, at Coronado and Thompson Valley. We have practices where we'll train with Thompson Valley. Uh, so in that foray race with Coronado, like we're we're rooting for all those guys who are our friends and all of our friends who are in Thompson Valley. So I think to have that um, that kind of leisure of conversation when you're here with all those guys. Uh, kind of takes the pressure off because uh, it's less of like a, I want to crush you and more of a like, let's go run fast and kind of push each other. So I think it's uh, super beneficial for all the teams in the Southwest to kind of have that uh, friendly competition. Absolutely. Cole, fantastic job. Uh, Hunter, Robbie. Hunter, uh, how impressed have, you know, have, have, have you been at just, uh, you know, kind of the steps that e the group has taken, you know, from like, if we go back to Wyoming, right? And then obviously, you know, like I said last week, one, you know, one through six at Lions, and then obviously uh, tonight, right? Like just, you know, just always looking forward, always like wanting to take on the next challenge, always wanting, you know, to find ways, you know, like all the, the rest of your teammates have said, getting better. Like just how, you know, uh, impressed and kind of maybe almost like affirmed or validated, you know, do, uh, do you feel about how the group is, has handled what's been, put, what's been put in front of them so far? Uh, yeah, I think we have uh, a lot of talented runners on this team and along with some great coaching. So just taking it like one meet at a time uh, is definitely like we're definitely just like uh, improving every meet. And, you know, we came here tonight and um, wanted to PR and God gave us this opportunity. I think we executed really well. Most definitely.
since obviously uh, you and Quinn have talked about it, like uh, how how significant is it not only the the trust and the belief that you have in each other, but the you know the trust and belief that you have in the Lord that it's just like in terms of that plan, right? You know that yeah. bigger vision than any of us have, right? Like you know how how impactful is that you know uh, for you know you guys as individuals in the group? Yeah, I think it's super uh, impactful. Uh, some of us uh, definitely have a strong belief in the Lord, and I think it's super comforting just knowing that no matter what what happens on every race, He has a plan for you, and no matter at the end of the day. He, he'll always be there for you. And yeah. Awesome. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, Gavin and Trickle. Gavin, uh, just in terms of this group controlling what they can control and only focusing on NIWAT, right? Because you know, obviously, when you're a group that has podium aspirations, not just at Norris Penrose, but obviously at Glendevere, it's really easy to get sidetracked, right? You know, like just how important is it for this, for this group, like what you guys have done so far, but obviously throughout the month of October and then especially, you know, really big challenges in November and December. Is it just to only trust the guy to your left, the guy to your right, you know, and just focus only on NIWAT because ultimately that's all you can control? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, trust is definitely important in, like, the eight of us. But, I mean, I also just want to talk about, like, all the other boys on our team and all the effort and hard work they put in. And, like, as we can see, the, yeah. uh, they're exerting a lot of energy right now. I know, I know. I feel like um, all the, all their work should be celebrated as well. Um, and I feel like their combined effort with um, uh, like the rest of the team, I mean, I feel like it really just kind of, I mean, I've, everyone's in the same mindset, like um, with how they want to compete. And I mean, I feel like everyone, like when everyone puts their head together, I mean, I feel like the team as a whole, not only these uh, seven other boys, but also them. I mean, I feel like we can definitely go go really far. I mean, that depth is special, right? Yeah. Like to have the level of performance from the guys in, in the sweepstakes race, but then like there's a group that 99.9% .9 of the schools in America would love to call yeah. their A team that yeah. you guys are, I don't even want to disrespect them by calling them a B team. Like it's just like the, the you know, the, like you said, the rest of the guys that are going out and winning that championship yeah. race, like just like how special is it to, you know, and obviously we saw with the girls as, uh, as well, like to be surrounded by that depth every day. I mean, it's it's definitely really, really special. I mean, it's it's really unique. And I mean, it definitely makes like practices and the whole team environment like competitive, but also like really fun because like, you know, everyone's there for you. And I mean, you're all pushing each other. So, I mean, I think that's definitely helped in uh, the team's success as a whole. Awesome. Again, Niwot, uh first boys team ever in Desert Twilight Festival history uh, to repeat as sweepstakes champions. Uh, we add on an, uh, another one uh, from, uh, from a few years ago and everything's pointing in the right direction. After one through six last week at, uh, at Lions, uh, they defeat uh, an extraordinary field here tonight at Toka Sticks. Guys, stay healthy. Best of luck going forward.